This, oh, okay, this is uh, in the free speech news world. Remember John Kerry? The John Kerry. Yep, I think I voted for him like an idiot. I think the first time, like, when did he run for president? 2008. Uh, this is war? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's. Is this a new video? And then, like, recently I, recorded? I thought that man died. <laughs> No, no, that's John McCain. <laughs> You're thinking of John McCain. I, no, I know McCain. he's dead, uh, but I also thought John Kerry has been dead for a little bit. No, his bit. career's been, been dead. No, for this, a while. Is, this year is um, World Economic Forum, and no, John Kerry's talking sorry, John. about he's this is a very thinly veiled censorship conversation. He's basically pro censorship because of oh, you they you can't control the internet. And I think the the dislike of oh. and anguish over social media is just growing and growing and growing uh, and it's part of our problem particularly in democracies uh, in terms of building consensus around any issue it's really hard to govern today you can't you know you know there's no the referees we used to have to determine yeah. what's a fact and what isn't a fact that kind of you know been eviscerated to a certain degree and um, people go and that people self-select where they go for their news or for their information and then you just get into a very so he's upset that people have options like oh no well and can i just say like um no people are coming to a consensus and the consensus is that we don't buy your guys's crap anymore like we know you guys yep. are a bunch of fraud all right yep. like i'm sorry that the consensus is one that you don't like <laughs> there's more information yep. out there so We've come to the general consensus that you should just go to the villages or a nursing home <laughs> or whatever comes first and call it a fucking day. You elderly freak. John Kerry, get out. Get out of here. Oh You're my fired. God. Mm -hmm. You're exactly right, Jerry. Yeah. It's like, well, there's all this mis and disinformation out here. If all you stupid people weren't getting bad information, we could control you better and then tell you what to think, and then you would have the correct opinion. Right. It's a cycle. So it's really, really hard, much harder to build consensus today than at any time in the 45, 50 years I've been involved in this. So he's like upset. Yeah, oh, people are doubting us. It really sucks. It's not as easy as it used to be. And, and, yeah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of discussion now about how you curb uh, those entities uh, in order to guarantee that you're going to have, you know, some accountability on facts, et cetera. But look, if people go to only one source and the source they go. This is probably all because this is where they talk about like the upcoming pandemics and shit like that and how they're mm -hmm. going to handle that. And they're like, well. Oh, weird. Well, they know how well, you're going COVID was annoying because there were so many people like not believing our bullshit. So we got to figure it out for next time. Yeah. John and they just Kerry have is... these meetings openly, you know, that's just, if they play right in your face, you know? Yep. And then we watch the clips. Odo is sick <laughs> and, uh, you know, has an agenda and they're putting out disinformation. You uh, have an agenda. Our first amendment stands as a your major information block is to the ability to be <laughs> Is dissed. Yeah, we'll just, <laughs> you know, just dissed. hammer it out of existence. So, what you need, what we need, is to is to win the ground, win the right to govern by hopefully having uh, you know winning enough votes that you're free to be able to to uh, implement change. Uh, AKA uh, um, control the internet, control social media. Uh, now, obviously, there are some people in our country who are prepared to implement change in other ways. And so that's you're really questioning dangerous. really if uh, democracy can survive unregulated I think social I think, media. I think democracies are, deep, are very challenged right now and have not proven they can move fast enough or big enough to deal with the challenges that we are facing. And to me, that is part of what this race, uh, this, this election is all about. Will we break the fever in the United States? And really? I think. Well, if we talk about her outfit, ugh. I know this is the World Economic Forum, but come on, a seafoam green it? suit with black sneakers. I'm sorry, this but these people make me sick. All the escorts. Too. 
flock to these events is because the women are not not trying. She is not trying to get dick with that outfit. I hate the woman on the left more. I hate, I hate everybody yes, that's I part of that. Yep. I don't like how her toes are pointed in. in. I, I don't mind the seafoam green. At least she's doing something. I, I, <laughs> Yeah. At least, at least she has a pulse. I, I think. I, I. This is just. I don't bad know. I'm pretty sure think. John Kerry is still dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, look how long his socks Listen, are. If he keeps saying it, it probably will come true. <laughs> he doesn't look very alive to me. I don't know. <laughs> I know. So how does this happen? How did the pants come up so high for John? They come up. <laughs> pants just, are so high. <laughs> they really are, though. <laughs> Yeah, they are. Well, I don't even you know can, who any of the rest it, of these people are. I don't know how to explain this, but if you're so old and feeble as a man that your legs, when you cross them, are like, like this, yeah, like a like a supermodel, very, like your thighs awesome. are so, so thin. He has like, no then then you have no berries. Right, go golf for free for the rest of your life in the villages. Call it a day. Gravity has worn on your face. And your soul, these people ever your heart. Well, they're addicted to power. Yeah, they're addicted to power. They're addicted to influence and and the and the money, but mostly power and the exclusivity that they get by their proximity to the elite and the cabal, my deep state, whatever you want to call it. And they'll do anything to keep it. I mean, that's literally what this election's about, you know. And it's just they do it right in front of our faces, which just mm -hmm. gets me worked up. It's like. Mm -hmm. No, you're not gonna be. You're not gonna play my face like that. Like you're just not. Can you go back to being sneaky, please? <laughs> yeah, he looks. Yeah, he looks like an ent. <laughs> <laughs> don't insult the ents like that. Sorry, I, I don't know what else to say. I I, I don't yeah, know why yeah. he's speaking. <laughs> I know. Like I genuinely, he... I genuinely thought he don't. Oops. Yeah, what do they think's gonna happen? Like. Uh, it's amazing they still have these events public and recorded. Like that's a professional recording of that it meeting. It really is. Because I, I think to that some extent they enjoy that we all like we all kind of know what's going on. Yeah, you know? I think they enjoy doing that because they're sick. Yeah, they, they think, oh fuck it, we'll we'll like we'll control them anyhow, even if some of them yeah. figure it out. <laughs> because you know half the population they go along with it. <laughs> like they yeah, that's nice true. People. watching this show <laughs> that's true <laughs> oh john carrie's daughter is even worse she thinks the climate crisis is a health crisis oh lord oh, if he's 80 oh. it was her his daughter probably um could be 60 let's see oh god they all go to these stupid meetings and they all get prostitutes um yeah, well she looks great three was an apocalyptic gear in terms of extreme weather events this is about to get worse speaking on a recent panel john Kerry's daughter vanessa Kerry attempts to frame the climate crisis as a health crisis going on to express concern that the un agenda 2030 sub uh, sustainable development goals are losing progress yay we have to phase out fossil fuels because this is a crisis of burning fossil fuels yeah duh. Oh my God, she looks just like him. She will not, um, not I cannot much. think of a topic more urgent, actually, than the intersection of climate change and health. And I apologize, my back is some folks. Um, the climate crisis is a health crisis, fundamentally. And that actually means it is a crisis, therefore, also of our stability, our security. You know who doesn't care about the climate? Uh, anybody shopping in a grocery store right now? Anybody uh, looking at the stats of how many murderers and rapists have just been led into our country? I think climate is like probably at the very bottom. Of it's people. at the bottom. Yeah. Don't we have bigger fish to fucking fry at this point? Like, I think you mean cats. We have bigger <laughs> cats. <laughs> They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. Eat, They're eat the eating. Cat. <laughs> eat, eat the cat. They're eating cats. Caring about the climate is like such a luxury. It is. It is. There you go, Tim. The biggest health crisis our is economic growth and our fundamental future as a globe. When we think about it, health is fundamental to everything that we are trying to do. The country like Zambia is now shutting down its schools because of a cholera outbreak that is from increased rainfall. 
in, mal in malaria is spreading in areas where it's been eradicated or removed in many of these countries. We are losing progress against our sustainable development goals. We have put. Who cares? Like, let them do what. Let Zambia I, do what they have to do. Why? I don't give I'm a fuck about Zambia. Zambia. <laughs> right? I think the ice rainfall and you're getting ever. cholera. There's, there's a I difference. I haven't thought about Zambia once in the last 30 years. Okay. To be honest, I've never heard the word Zambia. I'll be <laughs> honest with you. Yeah, but <laughs> never heard Zambia. You know what? As she's talking, as she's talking, she reminds me of a Kmart version of Ann Coulter. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I miss Gamer. She looks just like her dad. It's creepy. Look at that. This off. They want to control what these countries are doing. Like, a lot mm -hmm. of them seem fine. A lot of them don't. Uh, I would say most of them, probably all of well, them, don't need they don't, our input. They don't care about the climate. I mean, they probably took a private jet. If they're to not the going to go after China and India, stop talking about no, the climate. that's the big problem. Right. The, right. If, if China ain't going to do a fucking thing different, nope. no matter what. And that's nope. a huge that pollution. If you don't think about Zambia. Shut up, Ent Jr. Shut hey, up. You're worrying about <laughs> the extra rain in Zambia. Yeah, they, they had too much rain, so they got cholera. What? That sounds like, <laughs> I don't know that that's connected. That sounds like a hygiene issue. <laughs> I know, There's what? nobody in Zambia. Either the way, it's not our problem, though. Yes. Are you a problem. doctor? What are you fucking talking about? And it takes a lot to frown your face. Look at that frown. Get out of here. <laughs> Ew. Billions of dollars towards those goals. And we're truly losing progress. We're now about to see the statistics of the deaths that we're seeing by 2050 is more than double what the statistics used to be. This is not a future problem, though. We always talk in future numbers. Statistics. This is a problem. Uh, I just am so suspect of them. The it's obesity like... statistics and the red 40 statistics. Fake yep, and cold heart. Mm -hmm. You know Happening what? Why are they now, worried today? about why are they worried about the deaths in Africa? Isn't that like less people invading our westernized countries? Like, isn't that a good thing? Yeah, I, I don't. So we don't have to take thing. all these goddamn refugees and shit like that. So yeah. yay! I mean, like, <laughs> can you like prove these claims, or are you just gonna say like wild stuff I like that and just that's the the truth? Like we're just supposed to believe buzzwords. that? Like buzzwords. <laughs> what happens in Davos stays in Davos. <laughs> yeah. Twenty three was an apocalypse. Is there, is there a way we can control the rain? Right, and and the Wait, people in Zambia. <laughs> right, we're, we're supposed to Elon be able to control Musk, the rainfall in Zambia. Like, oh, what, what they would like. Good night, Mister. They're worried about death oh, in Africa okay, because okay. who else would dig up the diamonds and raw minimal resources for dirt cheap? Ah, facts. well, China is overseeing all that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, that's that's one thing America is pretty upset with China is that they have completely infiltrated a lot of these areas that are digging these um, uh, pure um, or shall I say rare uh, metals that are used in our phones and computers and everything and like IUDs. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just copper, guys. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else does Lady Kerry have to say. Elliptic year in terms of extreme weather events and what we've seen happen. That is about to get worse. We are on a target now for 2.4 degrees Celsius. They optimistically, if we come out of COP and we hold it, we could stay a little bit lower. But we're really at a, a crisis and it's going to come notes. down to two things. What did you say, Kiana? She was checking her notes because she's, <laughs> she's checking her manicure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have to phase out fossil fuels. Because this is a crisis of burning no. fossil fuels. Uh, no, that's what's going to keep everything cheaper and people right. going to work. It sounds like it's a crisis of Zambia not having water filters. Just somebody in the chat said that. that. Out there. Right. All oh, the green stuff. A, <laughs> all the green stuff is such a grift. It doesn't make anyone's lives easier or cheaper. Yeah, it's true. Wow. Do 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 do. And we have to mobilize more money, not only to the mitigation, but to the so adaptation the and the resilience so that we can offset what is happening right and protect communities. Boo. 
I mean, the goal for these people ultimately is like climate lockdowns, you know, mm -hmm. didn't, yes. they know they can yep. pull off a, a COVID two. They know that's not yep. going to happen. And mm -hmm. uh, the climate is something that Gen Z cares about a lot. And it's something that affects everybody. And I think they, they think that they could get us on board with that, but I this think that's what's going to come next. Mm -hmm. They're going to try Lots, it at least. Lots of women are always in crisis mode. Profile it's true. <laughs> it is true. Wow, it's uh, it's bullshit. <laughs> the climate Milk isn't is real. Like Ten dollars a gallon, Karen. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it hasn't like hasn't global warming like it's supposed to have like you know knocked us all out by now it's been like 10 years of this like yeah uh yeah. john carrius said that what back in, in the al gore or something like al that gore, no, no al gore thank you sorry about that was that 2004 name. the He's ozone like layer oh. <laughs> put your hairspray down ladies Ew. yeah but, oh god, oh god. <laughs> too much aqua net like you uh, have to use right. a paper straw so that they can ride around in private jets and lecture us about climate change. Right. They all ride right. private jets, all of them, mm -hmm. all of yep. them, everywhere they, they go. Yep. That's yep. a huge. Yeah. Let me see you taking the bus, problem. and then I'll listen to you. Right. right. And then if you disagree, yep. it's disinformation. Could you? Wait, how about here with fly? Who here would fly on an electric uh, commercial plane? Hell no. no heck no. <laughs> Did you hear about the electric no. cars in the parking garages for the hurricane? Yeah, they're catching no. on fire. They all exploded. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? <Like the> pagers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the cars, they got wet. They were in the parking garages and they, they got wet because the hurricane's, you know, right. coming through. And they all, the water interacted with the whatever in the electric cars and they all went boom. And there's just videos of these, all the, everybody else's cars are all foobarred because they got exploded. <laughs> Those, wow. That is a special kind of fire because they showed one car yeah, it's submerged and it was still on fire. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, electrical fires, yeah, I think, so. are different, but that's crazy. Yeah, oh, so. wow. Okay, now we have a clip of Klaus Schwab's daughter. I'm done hearing from the daughters of these evil dudes. <sighs> Can't they just be, just get their nails the Daughters of evil. Right. Yeah, the daughters of evil, evil, evil daughters. Okay, let's see here. What, what does she like to say? I can't imagine she's going to be a crisis. Has shown us that first of all, things can shift very rapidly when we put our minds to it and when oh, we feel God. the immediate emergency to our livelihoods. And second, that um, clearly, and you mentioned it earlier, that we had before is not sustainable. So I see it as a tremendous opportunity to really to have this great reset and to use this huge flows you know, of money to use the increased levers that policymakers have today in a way that was not possible before to create a change that is not incremental but that we can look back and we can say, this is the moment where we really started to position, you know, nature at the core of the economy. Great reset. What reset? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we're sick of waiting. We want to control people already. Yeah. Eat the bugs, put the chip in your heads. Then Take the it. shots. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. She needs highlights before I'm going to listen to her about anything. <laughs> you notice though, they bra. all look like that. All of them. Like the yeah. two ladies that were on with John Kerry too. Like, are y'all okay? I They're mean, not. I'm not a fashionista or anything like that. All right. This is my hair under any given moment, but at least you put on some blush. <laughs> you know what <laughs> that's, okay? You know what those women suffer from? They don't have sex. They, well, girl, you are good. Not coming. Exactly. They're not coming. They're not, they're not having not sex. alone, not, they're with not, partner, having not at all. Sex. They need good D and they need some good vitamin D in their lives. Yeah. Too. You know, what will get you not thinking about the climate at all is good dick. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's going to make you stop thinking about good. recycling? <laughs> a, a <good> <laughs> Forget about Zambia. Get a good dick in you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it solves a lot of problems. Cure yeah. your headaches. Stop Zambia your doesn't care about you. So. <laughs> No, Sambi is not thinking about us at all. No, yeah. they're not. No. He's got to pipe yeah, them no. down good. Wow. Yeah.
Um, I think a lot, I think all the it, what did John Kerry say? He said he was doing politics for fifty years, and I think mm, this mm, left, mm. right, I don't care who you are, all politicians, they're all there for way too fucking long, mm -hmm. right? There, term there should be, I mean, twenty years max. Let's mm. I mean, just because people live longer these days, I, and, and this it's is not other field or Republican, right? Yeah. It's it, it's everywhere. It's it, like. Because, yeah, because you were there to sign the fucking Constitution does not mean that right now you should be here talking to us about fucking Zambia. Yeah. Yeah. Grow up. Grow your up. Go to the John, judges. John Hancock out. ate half your yeah. birthday cake. It doesn't mean you should still be here working. In every other industry, exactly. modeling, you time out. If you're a surgeon, yeah. you're hand shaking. Right. You're fucking out, you know? Everywhere. Mm -hmm. If you're a figure you're skater, a you're not, you don't see an 85 year old figure skater anymore. It's nope. enough. Yeah. Your brain you're is over. Fitness, and you get your period, right. game over. Ballerinas, you're gone. You're gone. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you teach. Okay. To the glue factory. Yep. Right. Enough. It's, it's enough. To the glue factory. <laughs> But politicians exactly. know you could be literally having a stroke during a meeting and they're like, right. Oh, Your I'm eyeballs were working. falling out of its socket. And they're like, he seems fit to be president, mm -hmm. I believe. Right. You don't want to just like relax for the rest of your life, however long that may be, and be with your no, family. It's no, the power. No. It's the fucking yeah, they, power, they and they want to control power. us. That's why I just. Well, that's like, fair, but I, I mean, I don't know that old, and a lot of them, as old as they are, even understand that they still have power. <laughs> Right, True. Biden in between is their diaper himself. changes, I doubt it. Yeah, but they do. I think right. the early part of your political career is about stealing and laundering enough money to make sure your children's children's children are set up for mm -hmm. their lives, and then it's about the power. And the then most. what are they doing? And then what are they doing? Nothing, just getting richer and richer and richer, and that's both mm -hmm. sides. So, yeah, fuck them all. True. Oh God, this is a great picture. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of these people, you know, they they're doing like really inconceivable, disgusting things, and uh, they all do oh. it. And they don't know they do it. Oh so. God, kill it with fire! What is that? <laughs> well, it's you already this dead. Making decisions about anything. She wait, is she still alive? No, she's no. dead. Oh, she's dead. This might she's have been dead, the but standing up. My God. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? That looks really like my eighty-five-year-old pug. What the hell? <laughs> Maybe she's trying to flirt with someone. Maybe she's just winking at the Undertaker. Her hair looks. She's only been dead a year, though. Wow. So this, I don't know how old this this uh, post. Yes, is, she was. But... She was dead a year when they took this photo. Yeah, did they dig <laughs> her up? Like I mean, what? <laughs> Jeepers, what? creepers. And and why is that? Because she was the so people, pretty. The too. people in your party don't want to be the the one to, to throw up the flag and be like, "This fucker's too old. Get him out of here." I think because they're all... easy to be controlled and manipulated. But nobody believes Biden is running this country. But mm -hmm. how creepy is it that he is still our president? That's right okay. now, he's he our president. Like. But he's a feeble old man. He's drinking Metamucil on the beach. He's not in charge of anything. Mm -mm. But mm -mm. then who is? The established. That's the question. Obama still? Yeah, uh, Obama's in there. Definitely. People say there. that. I don't know if I really... I think, I think it's a group of people that, honestly, like none of us would even know. The reason why I think Obama is one of the many people is because he went and had a meeting with the Prime Minister of London uh, right during the heightened... Uh, um, uh, crisis between Russia and Ukraine. I'm like, why is Obama having a meeting right. with the prime minister? And that was the 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 white guy uh, with the crazy hair. What is his name? That was Boris the, uh, Johnson. There you Boris. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, why is he meeting with Boris? Yeah. I yeah, I think he's. I definitely think Obama was like an agent of the deep state. Yeah. Um, but it's it's just it's crazy. Yeah, isn't it's there a so wrong. Obama thing? His ideal situation would be to be in power, but to not be the face of it. He's like, I'd like mm -hmm. to be in a basement. But that's what he here. said. Yeah, he actually said that. Yeah. Oh, He's okay, Obama. Post. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right, love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it!
Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.